Don't fucking touch me. Mmm, that's nice. Get off of me. Nice and warm. There's the sub. There we go. Yeah. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the show. Still fucking going? Today we're joined by a very special guest, How to Basic, everyone. Oh, he's fucking touching my asshole. Get out of that, cunt. All right, get him out of here. Get him out I'll of here. I'll say, he should say something, shouldn't he? Oh, sh Is he sucking pussy in there? Is that good? Get him out of that oh. pussy. Get him out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh! A wedge, and when we open it oh, up. Wait, shut up! Anyone want to? Does, does anyone? I would like a tea. I would also tea? like a tea. Do you want one, Chad? Yes, please. Here you go, in. Flat white. What I ordered a large. Fuck. That's a large hit, dumbass. Here, Chad. Here's yours. Fucking punch ball it out of his. Yeah. Here's yours. You wanna punch yours? Yeah. Let me let me punch, punch me out yourself some tea. some tea. Yeah, punch me out some tea. Thanks. thanks. What's going on, guys? It's edges, ledges, and wedges here. It's uh, it's me. And Max Mofo Games. And it's me, Anything for Views. And it's me, iDubs TV. Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, DJ Salad Bar. Morbidly Obese Human. Calypso Shakira. Big Fuck. Wet Pussy. Big Pussy. Electrician's Apprentice. Hey, it's me, Actually a Qualified Painter. Hey, it's me, Channel That's Dying and Will Never Get Better. What's that? Who's that? that step at? This one? Oh, you're pretending you're iDubbbz Games. Uh, hey, you know what favorite video I like of yours? Oh no. When's the next uh, Overgrowth coming out? Is there any news on that? When when you shut the fuck up? When's the new Iron Man mod review? <laughs> huh? Um, if you're curious about the game itself, <sighs> though. Oh yeah, actually. It's shut the fuck up! <laughs> okay. I can smell like nothing like Oh, I can smell. Oh, that's oh, fucking hell. What do you guys have? We're going to be talking about hacked versions of the game, cheating in the game, and just fucking being a cunt in general and ruining the game for everyone else. Because I have, I don't have a lot of will to play this game as much as I did when it came out. Solely because of the fact that I go out and catch a really nice Pokemon, but then a few days later I go on Facebook and one of my friends is hacking. He's like, check out this Dragonite I just caught at Times Square. It started, it mainly started, the, the first things was the game was being, uh, the code was being looked into, people got the models of, of the birds and shit like that, which is fine because it's not impacting the game in any way. I'm not having a problem with that. And then we have PokerVision. And both PokerVision, but there's a few other ones. But both of these are a pretty big advantage, but it's not like, it, it's more like you can look around your area and know if something's gonna spawn because re usually rare Pokemon have a two, three minute time frame. So if it's spawning in the city, we're not gonna get there in three minutes type, <laughs> type deal. However, in combination with the other hacks, it is a massive advantage. <coughs> so, so how they did that, PokerVision and stuff, if you don't know, is a site uh, so with some of the other ones, which takes like the API and the data of, of, from the app and uses it uh, and displays the Pokemon that are everywhere. It tells you the cooldowns of the Pokemon, what, what fucking areas they're in, and it will show all the Pokemon nearby and when they're going to run out. You can go straight to those spots and grab those Pokemon, which possibly if the three-step glitch wasn't still, like, in the fucking game, which is where, no matter how close you get to a Pokemon, it'll, it'll be changing positions on your, on your tracker, but once it reaches the top, it won't change any amount, amount of steps, so you really can't specifically track down any Pokemon using the app itself, so people do go to third-party websites and stuff to do it. Um, YouTubers are making videos out of it. I hope it gets patched, because I don't really want to play the game as much anymore. You see a lot of live streamers uh, that... I haven't seen any live streamers particularly get banned for it or accounts get that's banned the, for that's it. That's the problem. Yeah. Even with even with the worst shit that we're going to talk about, what I've seen, people are only getting soft bans. There's no proper like hard bans. Everyone just gets like, oh, you're teleporting around the map? Oh, here, have, have a one hour ban, cunt. Mm. Stop, don't do it again. It's ruined the, the economy of the game completely and everything. People just, and even now, people are using the hacks, hacking accounts, and then just selling the accounts. The second and worst thing is there's, there's hacked versions of the game. You can download hacked versions of the game, and you can do location spoofing, 
um, which is where you can pick where you want to be on the map, on anywhere on the fucking globe, and teleport your character there. Or, and that will pretty much guarantee to get you a soft ban. So what people do is, there's, there's another thing in these, these apps where you can click car or whatever and just click some spot and it will just move your character there however long it takes to get there. Once you're there, then you can get all the Pokemon there, fucking whatever. So I think that's a bigger problem with the, with the um, that in combination with PokerVision will destroy fucking everything. And I find it really funny because I don't know what Nintendo's track record for dealing with problems like this is, but other game companies It'd be Niantic, would, which would, would probably most game too. companies would address this straight away because they're technically losing a lot of money because less people are going to be buying incense on the store and people are like, oh, you can get it all for free, but I've spent money on the game, you have. For the luxury of making the game a bit easier for someone like myself, 120 kilos, that doesn't like to leave the house as much, I will buy incenses and lures <laughs> to make catching Pokemon a bit easier. So I'm assuming people that are hacking the game are probably just as fat as me and just as lazy as me, obviously. <laughs> would probably do the exact same thing if they couldn't hack. And as well as that, one thing we haven't addressed yet is... Don't soft ban them! Just fucking... The pro see, the problem is, you can log in, you can use your Google account, you can log into uh, like an emulation of it on your computer, or the ha a hacked version on your phone still, or any of that shit. You can log in with your main account, get a bunch of shit, probably get off scot-free, get a soft ban, and then just never do it again. If you want to. And once trading comes into place, all you have to do is do it on a, an alt account, get as much shit as you want, and just trade it to your main, or trade it to a, a few people so it sort of disperses it, it. it. So in that case, even if you do get in trouble, you can say, oh, I have no ties to the original account, some guy traded it to me. I've Which is what's happened in other games in the past. I've lost complete, like, drive to play the game, to, because so many people are so far ahead from hacking. Like, the idea of me playing it and, buy, like, spending money on the in-game store at the start was, well, I'm not playing as much as everyone else. So yes, yeah, it's I, I'm gonna buy Lucky Eggs to keep up. Yeah, Lucky Eggs and Incense, you can just... Also, Lucky Eggs and Incense, you can rewind the time on your clock now. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Which is kind that of retarded. That should be fixed. That's yeah, fucking that's dumb. E that's easy to fix. You should have learned from Animal Crossing, dumbasses. Speaking of which, that's um, the next two mobile games that Nintendo said they want to make. Uh, Animal Crossing? Animal Crossing and Fire Emblem. I mean, Animal Crossing yeah. would be big. Yeah. Animal Crossing would be huge because the whole point of it is collecting. Exactly. And, like, that, it'd yeah. be fucking awesome. Um, it works best as, mm -hmm. as a mobile app, be, I would think. That'd I reckon awesome. that'd be a good way to pick up pussy. This is a problem. I, I, when, like Chad was saying before, when I click on a gym and I see someone's level, they have something there that's level 2000, whatever hundred, I immediately think, oh, it's some fucking hacking cunt. I don't even want to bother, uh, and it just makes me completely unmotivated to play. Which gives everyone a bad name for anyone who does have very high level shit. Um, I think at the moment, the, I mean, I will give Nintendo the benefit. Yeah. yeah, keep talking. I will give Nintendo the benefit of the doubt when it comes to it, because I think- It's Niantic that was doing it. Yeah, I Nintendo only owns like 32%. Oh, really? And well, what po I Pokemon Company owns 32%. Niantic is the controlling like thing. They just made the game with Nintendo's characters and licenses, I believe. I think I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm, I'm assuming they're more worried about getting the game out everywhere and getting it stable. Because I know every time they release a new country, no one can get in. I, I think the hype will die for much quicker with all the hackers and all these bugs. Well, it's definitely driving me off. Like, the first few days, we were really into it. And I love going out with my boy Ardubs and my boy Max catching a few... Pidgeys, a couple thousand ratatats, but mm. it's <clears throat> there's a there's a there's a whole thing with games in general when once everyone else is doing it, it either gives you no motivation to play normally, or you go, oh, I have to do it because everyone else is doing it, and there's no fun being behind. There's no fun either being behind, or there's no fun right playing it in that way. However, most people tend to go towards following uh, the bandwagon to keep up and hacking and shit even though it's just making it not enjoyable for, for everyone. Take RuneScape for example with botting. It's like so many people that don't like botting are like, oh well I better have to bot because everyone else is doing it. what's the point in being so far behind? It's it's they're not right. doing enough about it. Same thing happened with me when I was playing old school RuneScape when it came out. When old school RuneScape came out, everyone was botting and no one was getting banned for it. I started So botting. it wasn't fun, right? It wasn't fun because So you were like, oh well if I'm gonna play at all, what's the point in being Yeah, so, so I started I started I started, I started botting and then they brought in a system after a very long time, after a lot of people had stopped playing the game because of it. Hire more staff and moderate it and fix it and ban people and start banning people. 
Surely there's a way for you guys to detect it and fucking do it. I know there's always a way around everything. Let's find another website. No, in all right gaming now. communities. But do something or put out a statement saying you want to do something. Hey, do you even like tea, cunt? Oh, I love tea. Can I? Here. You have that one. And just give oh, me that one. Oh, come on. There's not many features in the game right now. I think one of the more engaging things is having the gyms, and when the gyms are taken by these hacking cunts, there's very little things that you can do in the game. Oh, you fucking disgusting cunt. You have throat cancer. There was actually, you know what, now I think about it, in the, in the actual games there was always the problem as well. You would sometimes receive Pokemon in the trade system. Uh, and they would be glitched. Oh, yeah. You could literally see they're glitched. And yeah, yeah. Their actually, things were visible, fucked. Yeah. yeah, that kind of... Pu I, it puts me off all games, actually. Do you have any predictions of what you think the next big feature they'll roll out? Next big feature not being like, oh, we're now going to start banning people. That's... I mean, that's a fix. What, what, what predictions do you not make? Not fixes, but... Yeah, an actual features. feature. Yeah. Um, battling. Battling, battling or, or trading, one of the two. Something really oh, um, something that someone, someone else suggested on Reddit. When you drop a lure, you should get a small percent of experience based on anyone who comes and starts using your lure. Right, to give you some incentive. Incentive to ah, be the guy who's yeah. paying for all the fucking lures. Yeah. Like, could only be a little bit, but surely it's something. It's yeah. like, hey, there's a shit ton of people here. Oh, I want to get the lures down. And then it benefits everyone because whoever gets down gets a little bit of XP. If there's a lot of people in the area, then they're getting a bit, of, tiny bit of XP from all them. Mm. Plus, they're getting free lures. So, yeah, the, not a bad it'd thought. be something, yeah. I also imagine them, yeah, in terms of introducing battling, I could, I could see them doing something where they introduce an item that allows you to battle, like a battle flag or some meme like that, where you actually mm. either get it upon leveling, uh, like you would with revives or anything else, or you can occasionally get it from Pokestops. Or, uh, or buy it. Or buy it, exactly. Give people the option to buy it so mm. that they can... And obviously with a normal battle, you might actually have a... I imagine you could get XP from, you know, battling your friends or whatever, which would give people incentive. They should, they could make a, um, some form of single player thing, like the Elite Four or something, or like a, a weekly challenge. That would something be Something where you can take on Some sort of NPCs. daily or weekly challenge where, yeah. like, at a certain time... Or, or even like, oh, the professor wants you to catch... 10 water Pokemon over this exactly. thing this time, right, right. It, you get a bunch of XP and some free items which are a majority shop. Mm -hmm. As well as that, when, when they do bring in legendaries, I'm assuming they're going to have events for game, like EB Games, like be at EB Games at this time. On Buy some Pokemon shit and catch a Gyarados. I'd burn the store down. No, know what I mean, like in addition to going and catching the Gyarados here, it's implied that you should buy Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you buy it and you get the... The red Gyarados. Ooh. Oh, I'd buy some shit. Yeah, Speaking some of shit. which, that's a fucking feature that shinies. Shinies. Why aren't shinies in the game? Are you fucking retarded? I think. It's well, is that a thing in normal Pokemon? Yes, games? shinies yeah. are yes, a big deal. Shinies are shinies. a big deal. Well, when was that introduced? Certainly not, not the first game. No. In no. the first, second, but that's or irrelevant. third. It's irrelevant. The, What's the deal with shiny Pokemon? Did it say shiny or just? Oh, no, they're, they're like, different. Their appearance are different. This, 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 there's like three or four different times. Um, yeah. Some are only just a shade darker, which is fucking retarded. But some are uh, awesome, like completely gold or inverted colors. Uh, black. Uh, sorry, sorry. Shiny Charizard is black. It's just black, sort of thing. That's cool. Yeah. And a lot of people are saying like, oh, they're not doing that because, oh, that wasn't in the original games. But, they, they, will, they have they moves, and there is moves and things that are in this game that they, they wouldn't the have. And it's right. like, oh, well then why the fuck do you have that, or whatever, if you're just right. sticking to that. It's a feature that everyone would want. No, I imagine they're just being slow to fucking push things out because the Releasing it everywhere. Keeping well, yeah, the and then, yeah, at the same time, it's like, you know, it what gives, is the it rush? It gives more incentive to farm Pokemon, because at the moment, it's like, Oh, I've seen a million Pidgeys, I know I need to get them for XP and shit, but it would give that extra. Right. Oh, if I click this, what it might be the one in 8,000 Pidgey yeah. I click, that's, just, that's a shiny so, one. Alright, let's stay on topic. Uh, anything else you want to cover? Um, I think that has been all for um, this is a little uh, little show we like to call Poker Talk. This has been Poker Talk. I want 
Um, next time, we'll, if, there's, oh. if there's any dis anything you want us to talk about re related to Pokemon, let me know below. If you Topical to Pokemon Go, let us know. We'll uh, we'll talk about it. Hey, you know what we should do? Like every other shitty show, we should ask a question and then we'll feature the comments and then oh, like Gorilla God. Question Man of the Day. Yeah, give us that question, Gorilla Man. <laughs> Important fact of the day, you put it in the comments, and we don't put it in the next video. You guys just look for the top-rated fact in the comments, and you're like, I'll take that as fact. What feature would you like in the game? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, okay. What feature would you like in the game, and why? A practical feature, not some dumb shit. I'd really like them, this is practical, I'd really like them to integrate Tinder oh. into Pokemon Go. So, while I'm playing Pokemon Go... Do you want to put a fucking, comes a, a, a Poke Pocket pussy as well? Ah, Poke Pocket! Ah. Woo, pussy poke, woo! Ah, alright. That's a wrap, boys! Oh! Fuck! And... Oh, and... I just replaced that one. And...